Hi friends, uh, in the last class uh, we done the interface, right? Interfaces versus inheritance. One interface extending another interface, right? Now this video will focus on nested interfaces. The topic here, nested interface. Make the heading is nested interface. What do you mean nested interface here? Declaring interface inside another interface, right? Go to the case one here. Declaring interface inside another interface. It's called nested interface. Otherwise, we can declare the interface inside the abstract class also. So in interview directly they'll ask the question here. So it is possible to declare the interface inside the abstract class or not? Yes. Okay, then what is the conclusion here? So declaring interface inside another interface is called nested interface. Or declaring interface inside the abstract class. Nested interface. Declaring interface inside the normal class also in nested interface. So how many cases we have total? Three cases. So the first case here, declaring interface inside another interface right what a syntax for that is simply can write interface uh, interface id1 just open brace closure brace i am declaring in interface hmm, interface interface it2 right just open brace closure brace this is called which interface here eh? nested interface right nested interface or not that's all i will do this example practically hmm? practical practically important right that's all and case 2 what a case 2 here Declaring interface inside the abstract class. What are the abstract class syntax here? here? Declare the abstract modifier. Abstract uh, class. The class name is called EA. This is abstract class, right? Inside the abstract class also, we can declare the interface. So interface, hmm, interface ID1. This is also called natural interface, right? That's all. What are the case three here? Declaring interface inside the normal class. What a syntax normal class means? Normal class. You can declare the class here. Inside the class here, declare the interface, right? What interface here? Interface IT1. So this is the interface, right? That's all. So the interface which you declared inside another interface, or declared the interface inside the abstract class, or declared the interface inside the normal class also, right? This is called which concept here? Nested interfaces. We're clear. Huh? So in the collection, we have the entry interface, right? In the collections, we have which interface are entry interface. Entry is a sub interface of map. So the reason, what a syntax for that is simply here. So in interface, interface map interface is there. So map contains what the data here, <coughs> entry interface, right? Simply can declare the interface. Interface is what entry or not? That's all. So entry is a sub interface of what a map, right? That is the reason whenever we are calling the entry, we are calling map data entry, right? Map data entry. <coughs> we clear, huh? That's all, guys. Just to take the syntaxes here, I will do the examples practically. Okay, just check, take the syntaxes now. Now I will do the example practically. Just check these three examples once. Hmm? Check the check the screen. So now we'll do the practicals regarding interfaces, right? I think the previously we done three videos, right? This is the fourth video, it seems. Just open the previous file here once. Think interfaces, video, classes. Good with interfaces, video class one is completed. So interface video class number two, video class number three. Video class number three is complete, right? Interface versus inheritance. Now the video class number four here, yeah, we'll focus on the nested interfaces. What is the video class number four? What is the topic here? here? Nested interface. What I said here? Yeah? Declaring interface inside uh, another interface, right? That is called nested interface. Total, how many cases I said total? Three cases. What is the case one? So, declaring interface, mm, interface inside uh, another interface, right? That's all. Focus on more practicals here. Yeah. Okay. I declare interface. Interface IT1. So, IT1 contains void M1 method. Yeah. I am declaring one more interface, interface IT2. This is called nested interface, right? The nested interface contains method void M2 method. That's all. So this is called outer interface. This is called nested inter inner interface, right? That's all. Now as implementation class, class test, I want to provide implementation of M1. Then M1 is belongs to what? IT1 interface, right? Then class test, we have to implement what? IT1, right? That's it. First listen the video carefully. While doing the practice, just listen the video. While taking in the board, take the running notes directly. My point is clear. See, one of the student is asked, sir, only screen means 
maybe not that much 80% is okay if we give some 2 minutes explanation on the board then start the video that is 100% that's all right just write the comment write the comment which approach is better write the comment and you know, i'll follow the same approach no issues okay that's all class test implements what id1 interface because i have to override m1 method right implements id1 now i want to override m2 method m2 method implementation means what m2 is belongs to what id2 right id2 is also interface interface means what id2 or not but id2 is belongs to what id1 right simply can make the id1 dot id2 clear huh? implementing it1 means provide the implementation of m1 method it1 dot id2 means provide the implementation of what m2 method right that's all guys here override how many methods there override uh, two methods or not that's all clear right case 2 so we can declare interface inside the abstract class that is called instruct interface right so uh, declaring interface uh, declaring interface inside the inside the which class here abstract class declaring interface inside the abstract class here. what the abstract class syntax assume class a is there it contains pub abstract uh, abstract void m1 see interface methods are by default public and abstract but abstract class method means we must declare abstract modifier right we must declare abstract modifier but interface methods are by default public and abstract and to represent this class is also abstract we have to use which modifier abstract modifier right that's all here can please declare the next interface uh interface it1 right that's all here void m2 method is there here abstract modifier required or not required not required why interface methods are by default public and abstract and interface also by default what abstract right that's all guys now what is my requirement i want to provide the implementation of m1 method m1 is belongs to which class a class right so no the class test class test i want to provide the implementation of which method here m1 method right to provide the implementation of m1 method m1 is belongs to what a right a is a class then class means we have to use keyword extends a right we have to check the target who is the target here class a is the target right then extends a then i, I want to provide the implementation of m2 method then m2 is belongs to id1 now who is the target here interface is the target right interface is the target means what i have to do we have to implements hmm, tell me we have to implements interface right that's all implements id1 Okay, clear? Huh? So here also uh, must to override how many methods? Sir? Obviously, two methods. Okay, clear? This is called declaring interface inside the abstract class. What about case three here? Declaring interface inside normal class. So declaring interface, hmm, declaring interface inside the inside the normal class also, right? That's all. So you have the normal class class here. This is normal class here. Here you can declare the interface interface. What the interface name here? ID1. The interface ID1 is there, right? That's it. Here it contains void M1 method. <laughs> Then here I want to provide the implementation of M1 method. To provide the implementation of M1 method, class test, uh, class test implements. Tell me, class test implements what? See, I want to provide the implementation of which method? M1, right? M1 is belongs to what? Interface, right? Then we have these extensions or implements? Uh, implements are not. Don't think A class. Here we have to check our target. M1. M1 is belongs to what interface. Now who is the target here? Interface, right? Then implements ID1. But ID1 is belongs to A class, right? A dot ID1. Then here override how many methods? Uh, override uh, one method or not? That's all. Right. These are three cases regarding nested interfaces. Okay. I'll do first example practically. Just check this one. So go to the file menu. Click on new Java. Just to place the code here. Let me save this file. Uh, let me save this application by using test dot Java file. Here we override the two methods, right? Good. So while overriding, interface implementation methods must be public, right? That's all. Simply can write the message. The system dot out dot printer enough. This is uh, M1 method implementation. Like that, you can take one more method. What the method is? Public void M2 method, right? This is my M2 method implementation. We clear, huh? That's all, guys. We can declare main method. What is syntax of main method? Public static void main. So we can write the string array ERGS. Open this, close the brace. Then create the object of which class here? Test class, right? That's all. 
test equal new test of we have to call the t dot m1 call the t dot m2 right that's all guys we clear on completed let me let me compile this code command prompt where is your file here move to the, your file location first of all where is your file my file is there in local disk e actually move to the e location from the e location how to compile java c test dot java then code is compile fine <laughs> with java c test dot java code is compile fine then which class you want to execute here java the class name is called what test class m1 variable implementation and what m2 variable implementation right that's all so whenever you represent the nested interface you have to use the outer interface dot inner interface it1 dot id2 if it is belongs to class means a dot id2 like that very clear huh? that's all guys that's all about which concept here nested interfaces concept very clear huh? that's all guys so thank you guys uh, check these three examples right? declaring interface inside the interface second example declaring interface inside abstract class maybe you can do these two examples practicals right we better to say yes sir don't say no <laughs> huh? better to say yes sir. and if you have any questions send a request to my mail id ratna5256 so that i will forward the materials F test mail yes. send 5256 at gmail.com this is my mail id okay can please share these videos to your friends sir i am forwarding links to your mail ids right just to share the information to your friends and write the comments that's all guys so thank guys thanks for watching and like the videos and comment the videos subscribe to our channel to get the more updates thank you guys bye